they worry for Biafran agitation. The agitation will continue even if Biafran is achieved. Bishop Timothy claims. The call for secession by Namdekanos led indigenous people of Biafra IPOP might not prevent the agitation for another secession within the Southeast. According to the Anglican Bishop of Kaduna, Reverend Timothy Yahaya, Bishop Yahaya, while speaking to journalists, said if the Southeast gets their wish of a sovereign Biafra Republic, there will still be agitation for secession within the Southeast because of disagreements among other indigenous Igbo ethnicities. He said, if in Igbo land today they are given Biafran, I know when you go to Imo State, the Okigwe man wants to be the leader, the Olu man wants to be the leader. So what are we talking about? When you give us Biafra, the Olu man will say, I want Olu nation. If we have a problem, let's acknowledge that we have a problem. The world has become global today. So this issue of we want to leave current state of Nigeria, if those problems disappear everybody will want to fly the flag of nigeria and carry the green passport and say i am in nigeria he called on our leaders not to pretend about the problems that are responsible for this secessionist agitation we mentioned marginalization oppression segregation and religious differences as part of the problems responsible for this agitation Speaking further, he said, Nigerians don't think like Nigerians first. They think of the region they come from. They think of their ethnic differences. They think of their actions and body languages. So, we should tell ourselves the truth. Socialistic are calling for secession because there is injustice at the center. When everybody is happy, nobody we know that there is a Yoruba man in Nigeria. Nobody will know that there is an Igbo man in Nigeria. The Benu man who is a thief or Idoma man will not know that there is a difference. They will only know that there is one Nigerian. He added, we are not much diverse as Americans. Americans has all the races in the world and yet they live as a nation and they are very happy and they are the giant of the earth of the world. In our diversity is our strength. In our diversity is the beauty of life, he stated. Um, Bishop, I would say that you don't have point in what you said but um, you see Nigeria that we are talking about now is a country that was forced on us we are, we, we are forced to accept Nigeria Nigeria is not our country of which I believe that you are aware of the uh aside from uh the britain forcing nigerian on us the amalgamation the amalgamation of this country nigerian the amalgamation of these different ethnics is another very big problem because uh, they are the reason and the ones that uh, that made us to be going through what we are going through today. If we have been properly amalgamated, our consent has been sick before um, amalgamating us. We would have been able to look into the different um, 
ethnics okay know the ones that can cope the one that cannot cope the one that can cope okay we agree the one that cannot cope we say no but you can see so our problem our problem is nigeria and it came from the very period we are amalgamating and you look at the period to this very time has anything reasonable been able to be done instead of something reasonable to be done it keep getting worse by the day so that is why i will now ask when is all of these things going to come to an end you understand sir because this crisis is still is still is still on it's still very much on so when is it going to come to an end is a question she is you know so and that is what we as as people equally need to look at so nobody is uh biafran uh didn't just come uh, didn't just um came up no it came up as a result of the marginalization which you are aware of if if uh, if if it if it was if it's not if not you won't see anybody coming out to agitate you will never see anyone coming out to agitate imagine our brothers in diaspora also coming out to agitate that's to let you know how strong it is now yeah for our brothers in diaspora to join the agitation you 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 now know how strong it is so they are not just agitating we are agitating because we are pained so when you say that even after uh, actualization of the that there will still be another agitation no we have been together even before the war so there cannot be any marginalization between us that unity will still be upheld and nobody will go against each other it's a promise so let me hear from you my dear viewers from the outside to know what you have to say about this if you're new click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you